Cortez. Is Cortez worth your money? How good is Cortez's quality? I just bought a t-shirt from Cortez and today I'm going to be reviewing it. So I managed to cop the white all-stars tee in Cortez's new drop. The week beginning the 12th of June. I was so gassed about it. Look at me. Go, let's go. Cortez, take my money. <laughs> had it on two laptops, you know. I had it on two laptops just in case. Bash, bash, bash. Clint, the owner, usually gives out a password and I was actually trying to find out this password 10 to 15 minutes before the drop. But suddenly he just tweets a bomb emoji and you don't even need a password to get onto the site for this drop. I screen recorded the entire process of me ordering this tea as you guys can see on screen now. Everything was in stock, nothing had run out. I added a size medium of the All Stars tea to my basket and then I continued to look for more stuff. There were five other t-shirts and because it was the first 15 minutes of the drop, they were all labelled at £30. However, after the first 15 minutes, the t-shirts actually switched to £35. I think Clint does this discount every single drop so I wasn't surprised. It was especially good as I really wanted this t-shirt before even going into the drop. When I was about to order I actually opened another tab with the terms of services on just because I know a lot of people have complained about Cortez and their delivery time. <laughs> I'll get into that in a bit. So after ordering the tea I kind of wanted to know if it was going to arrive next month or next week. Deep down I knew it wouldn't be too long the delivery. It's about a month ago I was on the website, the Cortez website looking for a black sniper tea. Then a week later everyone had received it and was listing it on Depop and StockX. Anyway actually back then when I was looking at the black sniper tea I got an email from Cortez tea's giving me the password. This was around 10 minutes after the drop to find the tea and everything else was just sitting there. I was considering buying it but for some reason I didn't in the end. Which leads me I guess to here which is buying the white all-stars tea. As you guys can see here I press checkout and we're moving. After a little while I get through to the payment screen. Now I don't actually know what I was doing here. For some reason my dumb ass couldn't see the Apple Pay sign so I went through and manually inputted all my details. It wasted so much time. I was actually kind of worried that I wouldn't get the tea. Anyway, after inputting all my details, I was greeted with a £5 shipping fee. What? £5? Bearing in mind that I've already read that the item is going to take 5 to 10 days to arrive. That is outrageous. At £5, Clint should be hand delivering it to me. Anyway, I kind of just accepted that I was going to pay the undiscounted price of the t-shirt and I went through to processing. Bosh! I've bought the t-shirt. So now it was just a matter of waiting. I officially placed my order on Friday the 16th of June and it arrived on the 23rd. Of June, thank God. So it took exactly a week to arrive. But this is where things aren't looking good, bruv. I come downstairs to find the t-shirt shoved in my letterbox. Nice five pound shipping. Slap it open to find that the quality isn't that great. It doesn't even have like a seam or anything going down the under armpit. And I felt better fabric on cheaper Nike t-shirts. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but like I've just felt better clothing for a lot cheaper. I guess you're really just buying Cortez for the brand. So if you're buying Cortez thinking you're gonna get a really high quality t-shirt, then I think again. Now I'm sorry, yeah, but this is where things just get outrageous. So you know when you're having spaghetti bolognese for dinner, yeah, and you accidentally spill it down, you, stains the t-shirt. Well, apparently this Cortese piece comes with a spag ball stain. What the hell is that? <laughs> no, 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 I'm actually being serious as well. I honestly haven't put that there or anything. Who, who, who buy the t-shirt with a, with a stain on it? <laughs> no. All jokes aside, it's from where the printing's gone wrong. The yellow of this Cortese logo is for some reason merged to other parts of the t-shirt, which is really annoying, you know? I really wanted this particular design of this Cortese t-shirt. The yellow logo on the white, it looks hard. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I want to try and swap it, but I know that these drops are really limited, so I don't even know if Clint would have any more of these t-shirts without the spaghetti stain. This is not at all what I was expecting when ordering from Cortese for the first time. I was especially surprised because the brand is so popular like, I thought it would be like really really good I haven't tried ordering the cargoes or the like tracksuits so I don't know what the quality is like on them I mean from what I've seen the cargoes look mint I'm not saying that you guys are gonna have a bad experience when buying from Cortese but I certainly have and I don't think I really want to buy from them again like the spaghetti stain is one thing but then also like the quality is not that great we'll see I, I may change my mind maybe Cortese will up their quality I say you guys might not have a bad experience well, I went onto Cortez's Instagram and you have had bad experiences. There are so many bad reviews in the comments. People saying their order hasn't arrived, their customer service is dreadful. People have been saying they haven't been given their money back, but they've been given money off for another drop. So actually, bun. As Cortez says, bun the rest. Bun the idea of asking for a refund or just exchanging it because I don't want their customer service to be unhelpful or not even give me my money back. Nike tech fleeces are dying. Or are they? Guys, I have a video on screen now where I talk about Nike tech fleeces, which I think you'd definitely be interested in. Or if not, then you might like this Jordan 4 tier list video.